Today's topic is gaming in China versus gaming in the West. So Winston, uh, where are we headed? Well today, since our topic is gaming in China versus the West, we are going to go to the place where most of the gaming happens in China, which is an internet cafe. Cool. I have to ask you another question though then. Sure. Why are we on these crappy scooters? Well, you know, these old scooters of ours have been hanging around for months, literally months, without being touched. And if you don't ride a bike or a scooter for ages, they deteriorate. I mean, the petrol goes bad, the hoses start to give trouble. There's all sorts of things that start to kind of seize and go bad. So you have to seriously ride your, your, your bike or scooter every once in a while, just to keep it in tip-top condition. So anyway, maybe you should tell our subscribers a little bit about these scooters, since they maybe don't know about them. Well, mine is a 1996, 1996 MCT Kimco. The 1996 Kimco MCT. With a fresh two-tone toothpaste look. Front disc brakes, stop time. Tear up any road. Can you handle the power? Don't let it slip away. And I believe yours is a 1990 uh, Kimco Duke. The 1990 Kimco Duke. Duke it out with the best. Unbelievable off-road capability. Drum brakes all around. Race into the future. Which is a very popular scooter in Taiwan. Both very basic scooters, a lot of fun and super fun to ride, but mine doesn't look like it's in very good shape because uh, I tend to abuse it here and there. Yeah, you don't you don't look after your stuff very well, do you? I look after my stuff, just not this. I don't give a about oh, this. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, well, mine has some sentimental value because my first big trip in Taiwan. Let's let's take a look down here. My first okay. big trip in Taiwan, I went and I bought one of these things cash in Taiwan right. and went around the whole island. Hold on, Winston. I yeah. I'm I need to buy a watch real quick. Okay. Um, I'm looking for a Bulgari, but they only have Bulgari here. Let's take a look. So, ah, Bulgari. I, I might be able to get a pretty good deal. Yeah, I know. This what do you think? These are those fake shops. Yeah. This, <laughs> Let's yeah, take a look. Long G's. Dier. Yeah, Dier instead of Dior. <laughs> oh yeah, we got D Dier. What else do we have here? We've got... Oh, there's Louis Vuitton. They didn't even try to change no, that one. No, that's just straight up, isn't it? Amga. <laughs> uh, Amga. Nice. I Cartier. think that's Cartier. Coochie. <laughs> yeah. Coochie. Coochie. Coochie, coochie, coo. Do they, know what that, do they know what that means? No, they don't. Mont Blasque. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mont Blasque. Givinsky. Rolbix. Rolbix. I like the Rolbix. Rolbix. Nice. So Seamilk, a uh, quick explanation to our subscribers. The reason why all these fake shops are here is when these new real estate developments like this are made, mm -hmm. they, they tend to put up these fake shops to make the prospective buyers come here and think, hmm, this is a classy place, you know? Sure. Oh, look, it's going to have all these, look, Starbucks coffee. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have a Tis watch, but I don't have a Tis Knot. Tis Knot, yeah. So basically, that's what it's all about. It's like a, a fake kind of make it look posh sure. thing, you know? But as you can see, all the signs are faded, the shops are all empty. Yeah, well, they did build this five years ago now. Yeah, I guess it just hasn't taken off yet. No. Nope. Oh well. Anyway, let's get back to the topic at hand. And let's just start by talking about Swarovski. Swarovski. <laughs> Swarovski. Okay. Distractions. I know, sorry. Okay, let's talk about gaming. When you and I were young, uh, well, let's talk about you very quickly. What kind of gaming did you get in your country? All consoles, and my first system that I played was NES, so it was all NES games, you know, we had Contra, we had uh, Double Dragon, all the Mario games and things like that. So that was my childhood, and obviously transitioned into the big 16-bit era with Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, and then eventually into PlayStation. That sums up my entire childhood. What about you? For me, it was more about PC gaming growing up, because consoles were a little bit 
out of reach and difficult to get in South Africa and a little bit expensive. We didn't get the Nintendo, but we did get Famicom copies, so basically a Famiclone from Taiwan that was very popular. So basically you would have a Nintendo, but it would be like a knockoff Nintendo and you could buy the cartridges in the store and everything. Kind of legitimate, I guess they were licensed, it wasn't like uh, piracy, the, the cartridges were real I believe. And later we did get the Mega Drive, which you call the Genesis, and um, we never got the Super Nintendo. What else? Yeah, so anyway, consoles were never big in South Africa, until the PlayStation 1. Before that, it wasn't a big thing. So it's all PC gaming. So, let's talk about China's gaming, like, uh, what kind of gaming do they have? Well, it's pretty much all PC gaming. I actually just did a video where I went to an internet cafe and interviewed some of the gamers and uh, watched them play all their games like LOL and Counter-Strike and stuff like that. So, yeah, it was pretty interesting, so go check it out. Yeah, there's actually a reason why PC gaming is so popular here, and that's due to the fact that consoles have always been... Well, first of all, they've always been looked down on and seen as a destructive influence to children. And, in fact, especially in the, the 80s, parents wouldn't want their children to play console at all and it was definitely like a bad western influence and you know it was always a bad thing right and it actually was officially banned so consoles were officially banned in china from i believe around about 2001 but leading up to that it was still pretty much banned people it was taboo you didn't play consoles and the interesting thing is that there were certain ways around this because of course children are children they want to play you know, Nintendo, and they came up with some ingenious stuff like this fake educational computer that basically all it is is a is a, a knockoff Nintendo, but it looks like it's an educational tool, so you can trick your parents into buying it for you. I did a whole video on this, so I'm just going to post a link instead of just waffling on about it. So please go check it out, guys, if you want to know about how they got past this. So yeah, a lot of good information there. You guys can check both of those videos out if you want to get more in-depth into the topic, because uh, there's a lot of cool things that go down in the internet bars, and uh, a lot of cool competitive gaming, and a lot of cool interesting culture that actually happens that I, I was unaware of at the time. So go check out the video if you can. Cool, hey look, they've got a strawberry field here. What is Strawberry say? fields forever, dude. Let's go take a look down here quickly. Sure. Yeah, scooters are, believe it or not, incredibly good at off-roading. Oh yeah. Look at all these strawberries, yeah. Let's ask them how much it costs. Right. This <laughs> Eating Okay. One one pound for about well five five hundred grams. Five hundred grams. So five hundred grams for twenty RMB. Like like four bucks. Okay. Well, whatever. You guess you you come here with the family and walk around and pick them and then go weigh them. I'd come here for the smell. It smells like strawberries. It's so yeah, nice. It is nice. I'm actually. gonna rip past you here. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's called a block. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> right, let's continue on down this way. Okay, so you, well, that was kind of interesting. Maybe you can tell us about the popular PC games here in China. By far, the most popular juggernaut of a game right now that every male in China plays is LOL. I think it's kind of consistent around the world right now, especially in Korea. But uh, it's competitive and people play hours and hours per day. But one of the funny things... Yeah, what, go what ahead. What are you going to say? Okay. One of the funny let's things... go down here, go down here. More off-road. How do we now? How do we get there? Yeah, right here. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Oh, cool. One yeah. of the funny things is that still one of the most popular games is Counter Strike. Do you remember that game? Yeah, I do. How old is that? Incredibly old. It's like a half-life mod. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, it, I was playing that way back in the day, and uh, I absolutely loved it. But it's yeah, they've modded it though. It's so different now. Sure. Wow, this is pretty cool out here. This is actually it's kind of wild. <laughs> yeah, let's keep on seeing where this leads. Okay, yeah, Counter-Strike and LOL, uh -huh. which doesn't mean laughing out loud, yeah, that means right. League of Legends, right? right. And there's one more, uh, it's not a game in particular, but it's a genre of games, which are these kind of free-to-play, clickbait, ad-driven games that yeah. I see all over the internet. Um, they're pretty terrible. Oh, uh, like the pig one? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I see ads for that all the time. <laughs> yeah. I, wow. I think that's, that's kind of the end of that. There's Ooh, nowhere, nowhere to go. <laughs> there's nowhere to go, is there? Oh well. Anyway, yeah, so those are PC games. Can you tell me about some of the most popular console games here? Absolutely. Well, you know that officially they lifted the console ban and now 
PlayStation 4 and Xbox One are now legally sold here. But the library of games is very limited because the, the Chinese government only allows a certain amount of games to be sold and they're all Chinese versions and well they're, they're usually like not very great games anyway. <laughs> but I'll tell you about the, uh, <coughs> let's try down here, I'll try, tell you about the Nintendo games that were very popular. Because you know I did that video and then a lot of my Chinese subscribers they left comments about how it reminded them of their childhood. <laughs> And it seems the most popular games were, of course, Super Mario, which they call Chao Ji Mario. <laughs> yeah, something like that. And then, uh, oh boy, this is interesting. And then another one is that Battle City, you know, that tank thing? It's called Battle City. Oh, yeah, this is fun. And then there's also a Contra. A Contra is incredibly popular here. Yeah, so those are the, probably the most popular console games ever in China. Whoa! Whew, that was fun. <laughs> Let's stop screwing around and head back into town. Yeah, so the internet bar is just after this light here, so uh, awesome. we're almost there. Yeah, well, as soon as we get there, let's get off and do a little bit of a walk and talk. Sounds good. This is an internet cafe. I just did an episode here, so if you want to check it out in more depth, please click the video. Well, since you've already covered this, what do you say we get the hell out of here? Yeah. All right, Team Milk, it's time for us to wrap up our episode about gaming in China versus the West. So, you got anything to say? As always, thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And, as always, if you don't like, comment, or subscribe, please don't forget, wherever you are, no matter what you're doing, stay awesome! <laughs>